Today's incident will wake up your soul. Please watch the incident till the end, dear viewers. In today's video, we will narrate to you the incident of the city's disobedient wife, and what are these two sins? What sins did she commit, due to which such severe punishment from Allah Almighty was revealed to her? What sins did she commit, due to which her beautiful face turned into an ugly one? To get the lesson, you must watch the entire video and write an apology in the comment. And women must listen to it, if you also commit this sin. If you do this, then ask for forgiveness from Allah Almighty. And if you are new to our channel, then subscribe to Voice of Tasby channel. Also, don't forget to click on the present bell icon. Thank you. A well-behaved wife is one of the greatest blessings from Allah Almighty for the city. The blessing can be gauged from the fact that if anyone was ordered to prostrate after Allah, the wife would be ordered to go to her city. If you want to know the value and worth of a city, then go and ask that woman, prostrate yourself to your husband. If you want to know the value and worth of a husband, if you want to know the value and worth of a husband, then go and ask the woman whose husband she is. And he was unfaithful by leaving her children alone and alone. He was ruined by this world. Go and ask that woman today, who has no one to take care of her. There is no one to care about whose love. There is no one to take care of whose love. There is no one to care about whose love. There is no one to care for someone whose love there is no one to think about. Someone to guard whose honor. No, there is no one to protect her honor. This woman remains afraid. She does not come out of the house, fearing that she might be the target of a beast's hunt. Don't become the target of any selfish person's deception. When it comes to selfishness, someone has remembered a command of the Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. Asked, O Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. How far away is heaven and at what distance is heaven situated? My Holy Prophet said, take the first step towards yourself. Your second step will be in heaven. Heaven is not so far away and heaven is not so close. Close is not for the sake of putting one's foot on the soul. To control oneself and to kill is the most difficult stage. It is not for everyone. Before the devil there was no devil. Before Abolis there was no one. Abolis was not there. Today, if no one offers namaz, no one bows before Allah, no one does prostration, if no one goes to the mosque, then we say this. Tell me when Allah had said to Iblis, O Iblis, what stopped you from prostrating before Adam? What was the thing inside him at that time? It was such that it was stopping him from prostrating. Warning, do not prostrate to man. Man is made of clay, and he is made of fire. Your position is much higher than that of man. After all, who had stopped the devil? What had stopped the devil? The devil had stopped him. At that time, Satan was not the only thing who could stop the devil. There was only one thing that disobeyed Allah. There was only one thing that made one turn away, and that was the soul's house. Where the soul's house will be, there I am. Wherever I am, there will be pride. There will be pride. There will be pride. Pride is the cloak of Allah Almighty. Pride is achieved through pride by holding the cloak of Allah Almighty. And if it tries to pull through pride, then Allah Almighty turns it into dust and destroys it. Allah Almighty did it in three ways. The creature has become the number one angel, the number two human being, and number three animals. Allah Almighty has blessed all three creatures with different abilities. Allah Almighty has given different things to all three creatures. Allah Almighty has blessed the angels with intelligence. He has not given them lust, which is why angels cannot think of sinning. Allah Almighty has given lust to animals. Animals are not given a soul to have lust. They are not given a soul. That is why when animals meet each other, they do not shy away from anyone. Where the soul is lustful, there will be worship, there will be no shame and modesty. The funeral procession of shame and modesty will be taken out. And on the third side, Prophet Man is standing. Allah Almighty has given intelligence to the angels, and He gave lust to animals, and gave one thing to man like angels, that is intelligence, and gave another thing to animals, that is lust. And after giving lust, he also gave intelligence. God has given man a soul. He has also given lust. And after giving lust, he has given man a soul. Allah has given him a soul. He has also given lust. By giving both lust and intelligence, 
God has made man the best of all creations. Now listen, despite having lust, despite having a soul, the man who does not come close to sin, despite having lust, does not come close to adultery. The man who does not come close to any sin, he is better than the angels. Now please remember that despite having lust, man does not go near adultery. Despite having lust, man does not go near adultery. He prays and reads the Quran. He prays the prayer of Tahajid. Tahajid is the beloved worship of Allah Almighty. Tahajid takes the breath of the soul only by refusing everything from Allah Almighty. The man who, despite everything, does not come close to sin, does not come close to adultery. This is the man who is better than the angels. Who will hear from his ears, despite being inferior. Despite being inferior, man is a worshipper of the soul. Despite having inferiority, he is still a worshipper of the mind. Despite this, the man who considers his lust as God instead of God, who considers himself as God, despite having intelligence, the man who despite being a human being is this. Despite knowing that Allah Almighty has made me the best of the creatures, still I act like an animal. Despite having intelligence, I still have lust. He has made me one of the noblest creatures, yet he acts like an animal. Despite being intelligent, he still worships lust. This is the man who is like dogs. It has also happened to animals that despite being intelligent, they still do things that animals do, dogs do, and pigs do. When they meet each other, there is no courage in them, there is no jealousy, there is no jealousy even in animals. There is no jealousy even in today's humans. No, they also do not show self-respect to each other. Today's man also does not show self-respect despite having intelligence. My prophet said that his first step is self-respect. But take the second step, you will be in heaven. Now let's move towards this incident. Viewers should go and ask these women whose cities, not cities, are dead. Today there is no one to care for them. Today there is no one to look after them. There is no one to protect their honor. Those women remain worried day and night. I wish our city was alive today. It would have saved our honor and the Hebrews from being attacked by the weakest people day and night for us and our children. He brings us sacks, arranges for our food, supports us in our troubles, and supports us in difficult times because the identity of a good city is also this means that he may not be able to sacrifice his wealth and wealth at the feet of his wife. But because the mark of a good husband is that he has the wealth and wealth, the husband sacrifices his body, mind and wealth in the name of his wife. Sacrifices his youth, sacrifices his age, sacrifices his old age, sacrifices his property and wealth, sacrifices everything. The husband asks for two things in return. The husband asks for two things in return from the wife. Number one, the husband's subsistence. Number one is to obey the city. Number two is the upbringing of her children. The city says, just keep obeying me. Keep doing it in my love. Keep mixing it in my love. Keep mixing it in me. Then see, I will buy all the happiness of the universe and sacrifice it at your feet. The prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, was asked, O Messenger of Allah, who is the best woman of your community? And my Lord said, The woman of my community. The best woman is the one who is obedient to the city, and the one who obeys the orders of the city. It is said that the best woman is the wife who pleases the city when the city sees her. It is said that the best woman is the one who does not gossip about the city, who does not gossip about the city, who does not gossip about the city who hides the shortcomings of the city and tells about the good qualities of her city. She is thankful to the city and doesn't do everything. To escape from the city's evil, some so many women cover up the goodness of their city. She expresses her shortcomings through backbiting and bravado. She wants to destroy the honor of the city. She wants to bury the turban of the city's honor right here. Some women are cursed by Allah and his angels. This is a shocking and shocking incident for all the viewers. There was a woman whom Allah Almighty cursed with great joy. She was blessed with beauty and grace. She was the most beautiful among the women of the time. Anyone who looked at her was stunned and amazed that she had such great beauty. So beautiful and graceful, there was so much beauty among the women that everyone was stunned to see her. Such great beauty, so beautiful and graceful. Now every man was ready to marry her, every young man was ready to marry her, so that he may get her, he would say. May I get this, but among all these young men, the star of luck of one young man will shine, 
This young man will get married to this beautiful woman. He will get married. Beautiful moments passed by with the beautiful wife of Sin and Jamail. Moments passed by Allah's doing. It happened that two years had passed and this woman passed away. She got such a serious disease, a deadly disease that put her in the grip of death and sent her to the dark chamber of the grave. This woman died. The women who bathed her after her death say that when they were bathing this woman, what we saw was that her beauty was transformed into ugliness. Her face started deteriorating and her body started swelling inside. Seeing this, everyone got scared. Oh Allah, what happened to that woman? The women quickly bathed her. After bathing her, when Aziz and Akrab put her body on the funeral pyre to take her to the cemetery, they say that we felt as if we were carrying a heavy stone on our shoulders. When we reached the cemetery and started burying this beautiful woman, everyone said, Ast Gorala. Ast Kfalal started reading and were surprised that there is heat inside the grave. There is heat inside the grave. There is fire inside the grave, sir. Children have opened their mouths. They were surprised to see. The grave was closed. The grave was dug up at another place. The same scenes were seen at another place also. The same scenes appeared. Inside the tomb, there were snakes, insects, and spiders. In the fifth place, when the grave was lost, the same scene appeared there too. It happened that a saint from this faraway place passed away from there. At this point, this dear and close one went to the caring man and told him the whole story and informed him about the truth, and the elder said that you will lose her grave wherever she is. These are the scenes that will come to light. The insects will not spare her life because these are not insects. These are the works of the woman which she has done in this world. This is the punishment for her work. This is the result of her work. Wherever you bury her, the insects will come in every situation. Dear, the car has left her city. Asked, what sins did your wife commit such that those sins became a medium to increase the fire in her grave? These sins destroyed the wife's world also. Branch and destroy the hereafter also. This was Hassan and Jamil, the queen of Hassan. Who else did she commit such sins that her face got disfigured? This is Sheha said that I do not want to tell. But for the sake of example, I will tell so that if other women hear, then they should repent from these sins as soon as possible. First sin. She was ungrateful to me. She was not thankful to me. She showered thousands of blessings on me when I was rich and had money. I had wealth and property and I showered every blessing on her. But when I became a victim of poverty, his wife started saying, I never saw anyone among you. I have never seen any good in you. I have never seen any good in your house. Secondly, she used to slander me. She used to highlight my shortcomings by covering up my good qualities. The third sin is the biggest. She used to hurt my parents. She used to abuse my parents. Used to give. Parents are ours. Parents are strangers. Parents. She used to give pain to her parents. She used to curse them. This unfortunate woman separated me from my parents through backbiting and deceit. She used to make me fight with my parents. She separated me from my brothers separated me from my sisters, she separated me from my parents. These are the sins of her grave. The sins which became the source of bringing insects inside have destroyed the world of this woman and have also destroyed the hereafter. Do everything. Never commit these three sins. If you do then remember that your world will also be ruined and hereafter will also be ruined and your hereafter will also be ruined. Allah Almighty will bring shame and disgrace in the world too, and will destroy and keep it in ruins. Hazrat Sidna Mullah Ali, peace be upon him, says that the one who speaks three words to the husband, the woman who remains deprived of three blessings in this world, speaks these three sentences to her husband with great enthusiasm. I said I have never seen any good in you. Ever since I came into your life, I have found sadness. I have never seen any good times in you. Such a woman. She is deprived of peace and rest. She is deprived of peace. Hazrat Ali says in the second sentence, the husband works the whole day for his wife. He does hard labor. Husband works the whole day for his wife. Does hard labor. Lifts weights on the hot sand in the scorching sun. Works the whole day whether I get something or not. My he works all day in the scorching sun just so that his wife can get a piece of bread. To fulfill every small wish of his wife, when the evening comes and the defeated traveler steps on the threshold of his house, then the wife is no more. She says such a sentence instead of welcoming, instead of welcoming her husband, see more. When he steps on the door of the house, the wife utters a sentence like this. 
instead of welcoming the city, instead of welcoming the wife, she says something like this. She says that her tiredness increases even more. This is the second sin. This is the second sentence. By saying this sentence, Allah Almighty removes this from the life of the woman. He takes away the honor of such a woman and dies in disgrace and dishonor. Such a woman dies in disgrace. Allah Almighty takes away such a woman in disgrace and disgrace in this world. Mahdi is such a woman that Allah Almighty makes her shameful and disgusting in the world. She has no respect in society. She has no place, says third. Sentence. Any sentence that makes the city feel that the wife is taunting me for my poverty. The wife was rich and the city was poor. When the wife got angry. When I came I got angry and started taunting her, saying, Such a woman is deprived of the respect of both the worlds. She is deprived of position and status. A woman's prayer is not accepted, nor is her fast accepted. Her prayer does not go even a single ball above her head. Her prayer does not even go above her head. If it doesn't reach the first sky, then it is a distant thing. Crossing the seven skies is a distant thing. To reach the door of acceptance is a distant thing, that's it. His prayer is his prayer, not even a single cloud goes above his head. He said, do everything. Never say these three words to your city, messenger of Allah. The prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, if a woman dies in such a situation that her city is angry with her, she will not even be able to hear the sound of heaven. See, O Messenger of Allah, she used to pray as well. Keep praying. Or, O Messenger of Allah, she also kept fasting. She said, O Messenger of Allah, she also kept fasting. Or, Messenger of Allah, she also kept praying. He said that her efforts would not be of any use unless she satisfied her city before she died. If she does not satisfy her city before she dies, then she pleases her husband, and then his prayers are also accepted. His fasts are also accepted and his tahajid is also of use to him if she dies in such a condition that he, her husband, was angry with her. So unless her husband is satisfied with her, her actions are of no use to anyone. So my sisters, I am saying to all of you, it is reported that obey your city. This is the order of Allah Almighty. This is the order of my Allah and his messenger. Follow his order, accept his order, do it and fulfill all the legitimate demands of your city, serve it and support it. Allah will reward you for it in this world as well as in the hereafter. Allah will also give in the end I pray to God Almighty, that Allah Almighty will give us the strength to hate these sins strongly and repent as soon as possible. May God bless you Amin O God that's all in today's video. To get more Islamic videos, subscribe to the Voice of Tasbih channel. Subscribe press the bell icon next to it and click on all. Thank you. Allah the Almighty revealed. And remember, when your Lord said to the angels, Verily I am going to place mankind generations after generations on earth. They said, Will you place therein those who will make mischief therein and shed blood, while we glorify you with praises and thanks, exalted be you above all that they associate with you as partners, and sanctify you? He, Allah said, I know that which you do not know. Surah 2, 3, O teaching Adam. And he taught Adam all the names of everything. Then he showed them to the angels and said, Tell me the names of these if you are truthful. They, angels said, Glory be to you, we have no knowledge except what you have taught us. Verily it is you, the All-Knower, the All-Wise. He said, O oh Adam, inform them of their names. And when he had informed them of their names, he said, Did I not tell you that I know the Gabe, unseen, in the heavens and the earth, and I know what you reveal and what you have been concealing? And remember, when we said to the angels, Prostrate yourselves before Adam. And they prostrated except Iblis. He refused and was proud and was one of the disbelievers, disobedient to Allah. Surah 2, 31, 34, The Fall from Paradise And we said, O Adam, dwell you and your wife in the paradise and eat both of you freely with pleasure and delight of things therein as wherever you will, but come not near this tree or you both will be of the Zalamin, wrongdoers. Then the Satan made them slip therefrom, the paradise, and got them out from that in which they were. We said, Get you down all, with enmity between yourselves, on earth will be a dwelling place for you and an enjoyment for a time. Surah 2, 35, 36, Allah's mercy on Adam. Then Adam received from his Lord words, and his Lord pardoned him, accepted his repentance. Verily, he is the one who forgives, accepts repentance, the most merciful. We said, get down all of you from this place, the paradise. Then whenever there comes to you guidance from me and whoever follows my guidance, there shall be no fear on them, 
nor shall they grieve. But those who disbelieve and belie our ayat, proofs, evidences, verses, lessons, signs, revelations, etc. Such are the dwellers of the fire, they shall abide therein forever, 